Welcome to our first video of 2017. We spent the last week making some really cool videos like this one and we are sure that you're gonna love it. Now who doesn't love apps, especially if they're amazing and this video will be about 17 of those. Oh and these apps are relatively unknown, so you are likely to discover a lot of new ones today. The links will be in the description, so let's jump right in. First app in this list is CAF or Contextual App Folder and this is kind of a magical folder uh, which you can have on your home screen to get the right apps at the right time. So suppose you're in mood for some music and you insert the aux cable or the headphones into the phone. Just see what happens. Let me show you. Pretty amazing, right? It's incredible. See it again. Cool, right? You could do a lot of uh, things with this app. You could have Google Maps show up here when this connects to your car Bluetooth. Really a lot of things to play around with. Next time you are getting late for a date because you are stuck in traffic, you can use this app called Glimpse to share your location in real time. Well, it has saved me a lot of times. It's better than Google Maps because it updates your location in real time and shows it to other person who can check your ETA and know exactly where you are stuck. With Android Nougat, one can easily tap on the recent app button and switch to the last app. It's much like the alt tab we have on our Windows PC. But let's face it, only a handful of people are on Android Nougat. 1%? 2%, 3%, man, I don't know. Well, there's always an app for that and my friend for this one, it's called the Easy App Switcher. The floating button on the home screen can be double tapped to switch between recent apps and you can also select other opened apps right there or even open an entire app drawer. Worried about your limited data while watching YouTube videos or uh, listening to music online? Well, you could use a mobile browser with its uh, data saver mode, but it won't help you with the big data sucking vampires like Netflix or even YouTube. What you need is a special app, Opera Max. It works behind the scenes to save as much as 50% of your data while not compromising too much with quality. Uh, quite a useful one, I must say. Tired of tapping on your screen every now and then while reading an article just so that your phone doesn't go into sleep mode? We have all been there and trust me, uh, the solution which we use increasing the screen timeout, uh, that only costs us battery life in the long run. To make things smoother, you can install this app called Kinscreen. The idea is pretty simple. If you are holding your phone, it will detect it and will keep the screen light on until you are holding it. There are a lot of options to play with in the settings on this one and if you buy the pro version, you'll get a lot more. You love to take manual photos on your Android, but it sucks to realize that your camera lacks that feature. Well, not anymore. With camera FV5 Lite, you will have a DSLR-like viewfinder on your Android where you can control any aspect of your camera to take stunning photos. So next time you have to take a macro shot of the morning droplets on a leaf or of that beautiful sunrise, you know which camera app to launch. Perfect photo is the one thing that all of us want. Uh, but that's not such an easy task, right? Sometimes the smile is not right. There might be that red eye that spoils everything. So for all this, there is a cool app uh, which is called Adobe Photoshop Fix. You can put that smile back on someone's face, retouch and smoothen the skin, or even give a blurred background effect. Everything is just so easy to work with, which is surprising as the app comes from Adobe. Yeah, the same people who made Photoshop and Premiere. Imagine. Textpad is another cool app using which you can get iOS-like text expanding feature right on your Android. Not sure what I'm talking about? 
Well, in simple terms, let's say you have to send your home or office address frequently or there is this phrase you use many times while sending text or writing an email. Just use TextPand app on your Android and replace all those phrases with a shortcut. The app will run in the background and monitor everything you write and as soon as you type that magical word. Bam, bam, bam. Sharing a long chat with someone is a pain, right? You gotta scroll, take a screenshot, then scroll again, take a screenshot again. Quite a hassle, I must say. Not if you have a stitch and share. This is a pretty cool app. It helps you take scrolling screenshots on your Android, a feature which you already find in some phones like uh, some of the Samsung and Mi phones. So here's how the app works. Once you have installed it, you can take manual screenshots of the scrolling page with some overlapping area at the top and bottom and the app will automatically stitch them to make a single image. A friend in need is a friend indeed, right? And in my line of work, the one need that most of my friends have is to help them with something or the other on their Android phones. And trust me, helping them remotely over the phone or you know using the screenshots they send me on WhatsApp, that's not ideal and not a great way to troubleshoot. That's why I use Inkwire. This app can stream your Android screen to another device. All you need is a connecting code and an internet connection. There's an added function of voice support making it a complete tech support package. So yes, it's helping your friends with a bit of a swag. Have a big screen phone? This big? Well, here's something to use this big screen real estate and at the same time, launch apps quickly. Meet the IV sidebar launcher. The app is easy to configure and you can just swipe from your configured edge to see some of the apps you can launch. The app's pretty customizable and you could change a lot of stuff in here. Now before we move on to the next app, I just wanted to say that uh, we put in a lot of hard work in these kind of videos. So please do subscribe if you haven't already and hit the thumbs up button if you have so far liked this video. If you don't like it, feel free to hit the dislike button. But uh, do engage with our work, we really love it. There are so many ways to contact people. Call, text, email, WhatsApp, Skype, Messenger, Google Duo, Google Allo, Hangout. Well, the last one sucked. Say hello to Droop. Just drag and drop a contact to the app you wish to use and that's it. The interface is simple and you can customize a lot of elements in the app. It's a pretty powerful contact manager for Android and you should try it out to see its full potential. Want to record your Android screen as a video? Might be for the Android games you play. Well, Easy Recorder is your best bet. Using the app, you can record whatever is going on on your screen. There are so many options you can configure here like show touches, have the front camera enabled and also have the sound from mic along with internal stream. It's like a complete package for all your video screencasting needs. Up next is Clipboard Action which makes copying and storing text on your clipboard a cakewalk. It doesn't just copy items onto your clipboard. It also presents you with a variety of actions immediately. So when you copy text, the app will show you actions you can immediately relate to, like share with a particular app, search the web, map, translate, etc. And you can also see all of them in the notification drop. Want your phone's screen turn on as you wave over it? Answer to all these automated tasks is Macrodroid. It's like a genie for geeky couch potatoes like me. You can create various automated tasks on the phone and forget about forgetting things. Just select the trigger and give an action plan to it and leave everything else to your phone. And if you think about it, this is the kind of app that makes your smartphone smart. Now next up is Quick Video Editor by GoPro. And it's sort of a video composer which can take in your photos and videos and turn it into something amazing. Just like Google Photos or Memories on iOS, this app can combine your pictures and videos, add effects and transitions 
and create a great story. There are a lot of ways to customize things, so it's a nice thing to have even if you are already using this feature on Google Photos. Last but not the least, we have a file manager for you in this list. That's because the stock file manager can never be enough and it can never be this polished. The best thing about FX File Explorer is that it lets you manage files across devices, be it your phone, computer or the cloud, after you are done setting up the necessary network connections. But this isn't for free and you'll need to purchase the license after a 7-day free trial. The app also supports split view if you want to manage files on different networks at the same time. Oh, so that was a long one. Yes, indeed. So my favorite was Textpander. I mean, for geeky, lazy person like me, it's easy to make like message with all that shortcuts. What about yours? Uh, Expander is a nice choice, Ashish. Uh, I think my favorite was, uh, I mean, it has to be the first one, CF. I really love how it changes the folders. And you know, I don't have to go around uh, searching for the apps. So I think uh, that is gonna be my favorite from this list. Yes. So which were your favorites from the list? Well, don't forget to tell us about it in the comments and please do subscribe and like. Bye-bye.